Inside the Life of a Billionaire's Nanny In many ways, rich parents are also just like us, including their busy schedules. The moms and dads of the rich family have just as much to do as we do, and they often need help. For that, they turn to discreet, hardworking, and flexible nannies. Well, being a nanny might not sound all that glamorous, but being a high-end nanny definitely has its own perks. They make about $164,000 a year in a job that involves luxury cars, free travel, and living in some of the most expensive homes money can buy. In this video, we will be taking you inside the life of a billionaire nanny to see just how grand this job really is. Becoming a high-end nanny isn't easy. You can't just wake up one day and decide to work for the ultra-rich families. Why? Well, because the super wealthy are also super careful about who they let into their homes. Unlike a typical nanny job, becoming a high-end nanny requires some extra qualifications. This usually includes having a bachelor's degree at the very least, preferably in a field like child psychology, development, or some other related subject. High-end nannies are also expected to have a set of extracurricular skills that might prove to be useful to them when they are working. This can include having a background in martial arts, athletics, art, or having spent time abroad. Experts suggest that it is always better to have previous hands-on experience in the field before you start thinking of nannying rich people's kids. So, spend some time building your resume by taking up babysitting jobs or working at a daycare or preschool to develop the skills you need to work with children. All in all, a high-end nanny is an all-rounder who knows how to take care of the kids of the extremely wealthy. Of course, the screening process also includes a thorough background check to make sure that you are trustworthy. Because after all, these families are going to be trusting you with their children. Other useful skills include organization, flexibility, and responsibility. Once you check all these boxes, and as long as you have the communication and interpersonal skills required to become a high-end nanny, all you need to do is connect yourself with an agency that will help you find your perfect family. Working with an agency will help you land a job faster than you would normally do by yourself. This is because most wealthy families sign up with agencies to avoid the hustle of going through background checks. Plus, these agencies usually keep track of inside vacancies to match you to a family that is just right for you. Now, what happens when you actually land the job? The usual working hours for these nannies are Monday through Friday, about 50 to 55 hours a week. Sometimes they are also expected to stay overnight, which extends those hours to up to 80 per week. Of course, every family has different expectations from the nannies. But typically, a high-end nanny is expected to start working right from the early hours of the morning. This means that you start the day off by getting the kids ready for school, helping them with breakfast, packing their lunch, and dropping them off. While the kids are gone, you are also expected to handle all household work and cook the family a healthy dinner to make sure that everything is ready by the time the kids reach home. But of course, that is not all. Once the kids are done with school, then you should make sure to take them off to their extracurriculars. This includes things like ballet classes, swimming, gymnastics, and soccer matches. High-profile nannies are also responsible for these children's personal development, which is why they have to plan regular outings to the library, museums, indoor and outdoor playgrounds, and places like the zoo to keep the kids entertained. The nannies are also in charge of planning regular trips to the doctor and nutritionist to make sure that the kids stay healthy. Aside from these typical nanny duties, these nannies are also sometimes expected to tutor the kids, which means that they definitely need to have their academics sorted. A private nanny working for a family based in LA actually had to prepare an entire curriculum for the preschooler that she was working with. This meant that she would have to come up with weekly themes and plan a lineup of stories, songs, and activities to line up with it. Not only that, the nannies are expected to help kids learn new languages like French or Spanish along with teaching them singing and playing instruments. 
These nannies are also responsible for teaching the kids about good and bad manners and helping them develop productive habits in their everyday lives. Some rich families go as far to hire nannies that are specifically trained to work with newborns. Their job is not only to take care of the newborn, but also to educate and train the parents to do it themselves. This means working with families for three to four months straight, right after their babies are born, and conditioning the baby with professional methods to make the process easier for the whole family. High-profile nannies usually take care of the whole family instead of just the kids. They often transition into the family's personal assistant, where they start handling all organizational tasks for the family. This includes keeping the cleanliness of the house in check, maintaining their closets and pantries, doing their laundry, grocery shopping, planning meals, handling other workers like housekeepers and pool cleaners, while also taking care of their family's pets if they have any. The important question is, is it even worth it? Well, if a six-figure salary isn't enough to make you consider working as a billionaire nanny, the job definitely comes with a few extra perks that you won't find anywhere else. The first one, of course, includes all the free trips that you get because the wealthy love to travel. And when they bring their kids along, they want to make sure that they are taken care of. And that is where the nanny comes in. Rich families that pay six figures to a nanny expect her to go to dinner or fly off to Europe with them on a moment's notice. They get to travel on private jets or first class, live for weeks on huge yachts, and spend time on the set of their favorite movies when they work for billionaire celebrities. Because these nannies are expected to be on the job 24-7, their living arrangements are usually made by their employers. This means they are given huge life-size living quarters in the families mentioned in various locations around the world. Some nannies have said that they even begin to feel like members of the family over time as they become indispensable to the busy stars. A high-profile nanny once said she stayed in one mansion in the Middle East that overlooks the beach and included a huge bedroom and ensuite bathroom. As part of her job, she gets to meet people from all over the world and enjoys gym memberships with access to a pool, among other living perks. Sounds like the ideal life, doesn't it? Some reports say that nannies have been tempted with unusual incentives as well. In addition to the fabulous lifestyle perks listed before, some stars reportedly offer perks in exchange for coaxing certain behavior out of their kids. For example, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West reportedly pay a bonus to nannies who can get their kids to sleep through the night. Other gifts include Range Rovers, jewelry, concert tickets, and even vacation homes. Some celebrity nannies say they have been provided with designer clothes, which they are expected to wear on the job. As nice as this sounds, it may be hard to chase after children in high-end clothes, especially if they're nicer than anything you own yourself. But one of the hardest parts of being a high-profile nanny is that you rarely get to talk about it. Why? Well, because the first rule of the high-profile nanny is that you never talk about the high-profile people you are working with. Nannies, like many staffers working for celebrities, may be asked to sign non-disclosure agreements. This can prohibit them from talking about who they work for, what they do, and many other details of their profession, even with those closest to them. All of this really makes the job of a nanny sound like the opportunity of a lifetime, doesn't it? But of course, it is also important to consider that working as a billionaire nanny is a full-time job. You are expected to drop everything and work on your employer's schedule instead of your own. Childcare is a big business when your clients are some of the wealthiest people in the world. This is why, according to most high-end nannies, you can't just be in this field for the money. Being a full-time nanny requires you to be passionate about childcare because you are going to be a formative figure in these children's lives. And even though the job requires you to put in long hours and cater to strange requests, these nannies usually end up becoming part of a family. Many celebrities praise their nannies for allowing them to do their job and focus on their careers while knowing that their children are taken care of because, in the end, the children grow up listening to and learning from several adults who love them and treat them well.
And while working as a billionaire nanny isn't easy, the rewards and perks that it comes with can definitely make it worth all the hassle.